Welcome back to Loving Life New Yorker. I'm Andrew and I'm still in Calador. It's the time is 20 past nine in the morning. I've just left the hotel a minute ago. I'm up here for a couple of days. I'm just on the hunt for some breakfast. So I thought I'd come bring you along here to see what the options are for breakfast. I've just say just left the hotel. If I turn left there, I get to Calagoran Beach. I'm gonna take a right here. I've got some breakfast ideas over here. Let's have a look. A little cafeteria here. Yeah. I've got English breakfast, continental breakfast there. What have I got here? It's eight euros for biggie. Oh, I don't know if I'm on that big. It's sort of like six euros, eight euros and things. I only want a little breakfast really, to be honest. It's more of a cup of tea, I need to be honest. Places for excursions and rental cars and things. There are plenty of options around. I'm going to be taking a, a right here. You've got all the, oh yeah, I've got all the restaurants in the square, aren't there? I don't know if they're evening or they, they're open for a bit of brekkie. This is, of course, the road where the shops are. All the shopkeepers are out there with the brooms, which is quite nice and mops. It's ever so quiet here, isn't it? So a bit more would be open around here, to be honest. And I don't think it's much point going into the square because I think the majority of that would be closed. I think that's probably evenings only because not a lot of noise around here, to be honest. I think I'm going to head towards the, the right and head down the, um, the lanes back towards the, um, the other end of Calador. In the moment. Oh, that's what I did it last night. There might be a, a few more options there. I don't know about ice cream for breakfast, really. Oh, so I don't know all the chairs around. I'm not sure. Let's go and have a look. I've got a feeling, no, as I said, all these will be closed, just getting ready to open. Oh, yeah, they're getting the chairs out, but. Won't be a long video if I stop there, will it? <laughs> Let's keep on walking. Our throat and yogurt place is all closed. Oh, that's a traditional Spanish place over there. Just going to keep on looking around. That takes you into where the restaurants are and things, and like I call this square. Even Burger King's closed. Don't know what time that opens. I took a, a right up here by the spa shop. I know it's definitely a few restaurants around that way, a little bit further down. But they're starting to get ready, the happy shops just getting their stock out on the pavement. When you're not looking for something, you see an awful lot of them, don't you? I mean, we did, um, yesterday we did bingo. That's something to look forward to, and we did like a, I won't tell you too much about it, but it was, it was a good laugh. Frank and I did suck like a bingo he'd made. I haven't got a clue what he's got me to do during this holiday. He's got a few tasks and things in his mind. And one of them yesterday was a bingo. And one of the things we had to find were flags. Do you know, I found it a terrible job to find flags when I was actually looking for them, but today I'm not looking for them. I'm finding flags everywhere. I'm staying down there, it's my hotel. Hostel, not a hotel, it's like a hostel. It's very nice down there, mind. Again, 
Frank, Frank booked me in. I had no idea at all where I was staying or what the what it was. I just knew it was room only, but I didn't know what he what he booked me in. I, I enjoy this sort of thing, you know, sort of not knowing what I'm doing, just going along and going with the flow. It's, it make it makes it good fun for me because then I, I just don't know what to expect, which does make it exciting. I wondered, all I know today, we're, we're meeting up around about 12 o'clock and he's gonna tell me what the plan is today. You'll find plenty of stops for the Ting Ting train around. It's, it's five euros for an adult. It's got a couple more bars here that are open for locals, you know, um, proper traditional local bars, I'm trying to say. I'm gonna be carry on down here, past the, past the tropical gardens, and I know there's a, a couple of cafes just, um, just around here. This shop down here, down the slope, always intrigues me, because it's such a huge place. It really is. It's got like a an outside bit as well, which I think is always interesting. Just like a little part here, all the stuff that's outside. We're just coming to tropical gardens now. This place is, does live music in the evenings, tribute acts, that sort of thing. But it's always nice. It's got a little it's a hotel at the back that belongs to it if you know what I mean but anyone can go in there you don't have to be in a hotel to enjoy the entertainment of the tropical gardens there you go Bobby Williams Michael Jackson Better Queen Taylor Swift Bruno Mars all of that here Abba Angels You want to use the toilet and you're not a customer it's a euro <laughs> oh they do a breakfast in there as well just noticed hmm they've the options around aren't they so here you've got a, a slope if you're in a, a mobility scooter or something or the steps if you're feeling brave to keep on walking so I said up here I know that there's a handful of places around here because this is where Frank where I met Frank yesterday in his hotel and he took me out for um, lunch just around here and I did notice there's a good handful of different places around here so it's sort of like make your mind up time to be honest I don't know about going back to tropical gardens because it does look a nice view in there and you sort of different things. Yes, I, I think I'll pop down tropical gardens to have a little bit of brekkie this morning. I mean, it looks so nice down there. It does look nice. I mean, I'd love to come here sometime and see one of the tribute tax. Fellas a really nice place, is not it? Just to sit there and have a, a bite to eat or watch the entertainment. Just gonna have some breakfast, as I was saying. They don't do bad options, really, do they? They're called fully with breakfast, which is bacon and eggs, scrambled eggs and different bits and pieces. And the prices don't look bad either. 7 50 for full English. I think I'll go for a full English and a, a cup or a pot of tea, however it comes. And that'll keep me going till, till this evening, some dinner. It's arrived, it looks nice, doesn't it? Got some beans, some bacon, hash brown, toast, egg, sausage, and what I've really been needing was the cup of tea, but everything's arrived. I'm not really one for a cooked breakfast, so normally a bit of toast and a cup of tea suits me nicely, but I mean, I thought I'd, I'd have a little look and see what's what's available. And I must admit, this breakfast is absolutely gorgeous. It really is, um, it's well cooked, it's hot, and, I'm just really enjoying it.
Well, I had my breakfast, found it in tropical gardens, and it was really nice. Um, nine or 10 out of 10, I'd say, with a beautiful cup of tea as well. So if you enjoyed today's film, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget the Facebook group, Love Love New Yorker. I'll catch you on the next film, guys. Bye for now.